Hello, my name is Wesley Harden, and this is my music-themed podcast, Keeping the Tempo, with my guest here, who's name Nathan is... Nathan Gillen, hello. And for a music-themed podcast, I have music-themed questions. Ooh. So, the first one I want to talk about is your background of music. You do any background, like um, choir... I did choir for one year and then concert choir for another year, and during the concert choir year, I was doing band for my sixth period, which I didn't really enjoy it, but since I had a sixth period, it would go way longer on Wednesdays, because early release makes it longer. I see. Yeah. I did kind of enjoy it, though, because it was nice to like play in the percussion section and stuff. How advanced was the percussion? <laughs> um, I'm going to be fully honest, not very. All, of, all we really did was hit stuff. I mean, that's actually really only per- what percussion does. We hit stuff in a specific rhythm, and it sounds really good. But I mm-hmm. mainly, I, yeah. was, I was really good with the uh, snare, snare drum. Snare drum? Yeah. Uh, but there's Must also the good. bass drum where I, I was mm. actually the main guy for that for quite a while, and I just had to, and I loved doing it because some, at some points I'd like hit it really loud, and everyone looked at me like, what? For a drum called a bass drum, how low was it compared to the rest? Uh, it was very low, but it was also very loud. Very loud. Well, the problem I see of like, lower-end instruments is that sometimes they need to be amplified to be louder. Yeah. Um, so, what's your favorite radio station, if you have one? Uh, I-101. It's a very nice radio station. What usually plays on it? Um, kind of what's trending, really. It's trendy music? Yeah, trendy music. Trendy music is alright. I'm not a... I, I, there's nothing that really has like a sound to it, but I really clung to. Um, and there's music that I don't like at all. Like dislike. Yeah. Like, uh... Just rap, I guess. Mumble rap. It evolved a tiny bit into that sound. It, it, it devolved. It devolved. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, a, that's more... If that's evolution, then it's going downhill. If it's evolution, then... Oh, <laughs> our hands. oh no. we are all terrified. <laughs> so, you listen to music on the radio. How else do you listen to music? Um, I listen to music on the radio. Um, well, sometimes I like listen. I listen to like on YouTube music because that's really nice. I get to listen to it. But occasional, occasionally, I'll be sitting there vibing with the music, and then suddenly it'll be like, "Are you tired of all these people trying to buy your house?" And look at the and I look at it and it's playing an ad and I'm like, oh thank you, YouTube. Very cool. Yeah. That's the problem with uh software. I use Spotify, but since I have the premium for it, it doesn't have ads. But I use iTunes and or my mom calls it Amazon Music because apparently iTunes is not the name for it anymore. Really? I thought it was yeah. iTunes. It, apparently it's Amazon Music. I don't believe that, is, that. I don't think that's a thing. Well, it, it is. in a Music. world where there's technology, with the ever-evolving world of music, the problem we sometimes have is ways to monetize it. So you have to have ads, I guess. That's, I mean, that's yeah. just how they get money. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But yeah, I agree. As the consumer of the product, I'm very, very, very... Oh, I don't like ads at all. No. I'm very against them. Yeah, I'm very against them. Unless I was the artist, I'd be like, ooh, money. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ten dollars in my bank. Ten dollars. Did they get how much money did they get per ad? I just, I just realized. Um, um I'm gonna assume very little because it plays a lot it, for multiple people. I'm assuming that it depends on how much people buy the product. True. May it's probably like more money for people like they probably balance it out for people who get like millions and then people who only get like 10. So they'd probably balance it in a way so it would be uh, a little more fair. Yeah. Like every ad is like $10 for the lower end and like the high end people, they have like five cents per ad, but still they get five more. Five cents? Holy crud. Five cents adds up a lot if you're an artist. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Like, um... When you have like... 20 million listeners. Yeah, there's some, there's some people who are, like, so monetized because they never say a curse word that I, I'm, like, looking at the ads, and there's, like, 20 of them in one vid. 
But enough about they, like they time it out to like ten mm-hmm. minutes. That way they can get midwell ads. Huh. Well, enough so. about monetization, and let's talk about music. Even though it did kind of correlate with it. Yeah. That's interesting yeah, how that sure. went. So, does any of your family play instruments of any kind? Um, my grandfather is, um, he did a tribute to Petty Fever once. It was very nice, mm-hmm. and went to it. Really? Yeah. He has his own band and everything, they're actually really popular down in Portland. He has a band? Yeah, he has a full band. What? <laughs> What's uh, yeah. the band's name? What's the band's name? I'm gonna be fully honest, I forgot. Oh, that would've been a... I feel really mean, I'm sorry. Uh, this would've but, been yeah. a really good plug for your dad's band. <laughs> it's not my dad, it's my grandpa. Your gr- <laughs> Wait, your grandpa? Yeah, my grandpa. I can only imagine... He's not my blood grandpa, uh, but he's still my grandpa. I can only imagine like an 80-year-old man on stage like... With oh, no, he's not. Guitar. He, he, he seems old, but he's like full of energy. He's full of life. Uh, <laughs> what instrument does he play? Uh, he plays the guitar. Ah, he's the main front man, as I call him. Mainly yeah. because I am one. And mm-hmm. I need attention, which is why I play guitar mm-hmm. and do vocals. So I'm the front man. Okay, and another question I have is, if you could play any musical instrument, what Piano. would it be? Piano? Easily. Yes. Easily. I would love to play very, piano. Very, uh, it's, well, it's an instrument that's very, what's the word? Versatile. Because... It uses a key system, and key systems are used in a lot of different instruments. And like, and then when you know a keyboard, you can just put on a sound of like, dr- not drums, but like. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I have an, I actually have my own little mini mega piano. Or something. Mega piano? Mega Electric. piano. Mega piano. Mega. My own mini mega piano. All right, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I am English. It's a grand upright, but it sounds like a keyboard. Mega Man, but as a piano. A I'm Mega scared. Man, but as piano. <laughs> Wait, no, that's, no, that's Mega Tail. Mega Tail? What am I saying? Okay. <laughs> Meg, I tried to say Megalovania, but I was still thinking of... Okay, Mega Tail. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, meaning of video games. Video game soundtracks. Oh, those are awesome. You like them? I think. Oh my god! What types? What types do you like? Uh, RuneScape. Do you guys not Ru- remember the Pirate Ru- Shanty Two? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Oh, that's like the best. Holy crud! All right, you oh, really like. She's talking about. So the original soundtrack, like OSTs, as they're called. <laughs> um, my favorite. Like a lot of people find them cheesy, but I just like the orchestral and like. Choir singing in the background. Very, very drags you in. Final Fantasy? The composer of it is very, very well known. I love the composer. I started playing Final Fantasy, Um, actually. All the Nintendo games of music in general, my favorite soundtrack would be from Kid Icarus, but I'm 99% sure half of the people Pretty sure I remember seeing you play that on 3DS once. Half of the people that in this podcast probably don't even know what Kid Icarus is. But uh, that's where Pit came from. Yes. Huh. But I'm pretty sure... I know sure a lot more about Nintendo than you probably ever will. You don't Maybe. even play Kid Icarus. Um, this is what very fun. What if I told you I did? Huh. I mean, only for a short little while. So what does the soundtrack I'm sound like? Yeah, only sure for a short little while, because my brother was already halfway through the game. Sorry. So what does the soundtrack sound like? Uh, for what soundtrack? Uh, Kid Icarus, as you called it. I don't remember, dude. It was like, I was like seven. It's, it's more like, like you said, kind of the orchestra type of thing. It has hmm. a certain sound to it. I don't know. I guess it's based in, like, Greek history. Either Greek or Roman. Kid, it's Kid Greek, Icarus. I get Greek, Greek and Roman, Roman culture mixed up all the time. That's on my fault. <laughs> um, I mean, but, so, pretty cool. the music is very, you know... Yeah, like harps and all yeah. that. Ah, oh, okay. It's just called my Legend of Zelda. I just remembered that game. Legend of Zelda. Also Ooh, that has a good soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. Dude, not only does it have a soundtrack, it lets you, it like, um, in Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, you get to play as all the different characters and they all have different instruments and you can all play different music and stuff. Because there's like specific music you can play on the Ocarina of Time. You know, that reminds me, I really like games that have uh, musical instruments in them. Oh, that's I don't know why, but just being able to just go and, like, 
a middle of like an area and just start jamming out. Especially when it's an online NPCs game to looking. bug people. Yeah. <laughs> ding, like ding, in ding. Monster Hunter, when you get the like the music instrument, you could just you could literally that's the only thing that it does. You just sing. There's another. I game. mean, you don't sing, but you play music on it, and it huh. gives your teammates a giant boost. There's another game that I really like the soundtrack to. It's an adult game. It also has a Netflix series. It's called The Witcher. It has oh. oh my god, I love that game. It has a really good soundtrack. Huh. Um, the cool. Netflix series also has a really good soundtrack. <laughs> No, on the honest podcast. The Netflix, huh. the Netflix series is very violent. Yeah. Really? Cool. Actually, it's not as violent as, you know, other adults. What music do you listen to to make you feel certain things, like happy or sad? Um. Um. Queen. Queen? Yeah. How much do you like Queen? Pretty good. I like it a lot. It's very nice. Very calming. What's, uh, is there any issues Made with in heaven. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Queen? Uh, just kind of the vocals, really, and, like, the music Freddie in the Mercury background. Freddie Mercury was a weird singer. Uh, on the theme of Queen, I guess, that rhymed. Uh, I, the guitarist, Brian May. He has a really cool guitar. I want one. It's called the Red Special. He made it. You, the neck of that guitar was made specifically with a hundred-year-old chimney. Not like the bricks from the chimney, but like, you know how chimneys have that wooden piece in the front oh, of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a homemade guitar him and his dad made. How would you decide to make that? You just look at the chimney and you're like, that'd make a nice guitar. Well, it's because... Uh, they were probably making the body, and then they needed a neck, and that was the closest thing they could. Hmm. Still pretty cool, though. Yeah, and he never... Ch- I heard he never changed his strings yeah, after, like, like 50 been, years. I feel like it would have been funnier to me if, it, if it, he just looked at it, stared at it for a little bit, and been like, I want that as, a, I want that as an instrument. I instrument time. <laughs> I, I'm going to make an instrument. No. He also it's studied it's classical it's guitar, I'm very sure, before. And he... Just has a sound. It's really great. Uh, if I, the only issue I have with Queen is that you really need to get invested into some of their songs, because you just have to She's feel it. Queen. I get very invested. If you don't know the lyrics, it's hard to get invested in it. She's a killer. Queen, dancing would you like? I'm Dynamite with a laser beam. Ninety-nine percent sure I know all the lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody. That's great. Yeah, everyone knows Bohemian Rhapsody. That's a really popular song. But they never get credit to any of the other good songs like Made in Heaven, Get the Queen, Bites the Dust. I love. He knows why I'm saying. Bites the Dust me. is your second most popular song. I'm very sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Ben Dun, dun. Another one bites the dust. Dun, 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 dun. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey, and I do. Wait a minute, we're this, off this podcast has just turned into us singing. We are sorry. This is no this longer is a podcast. This is our choir. This is karaoke night, boys. Karaoke night, boys. <laughs> uh, karaoke podcast. You actually, ever, it's not a bad idea. You, you ever went to a concert? I was going to go to the Ozzy Osbourne one that he was doing, but then he got Parkinson's. Yeah, he actually had him for a few years before. Um, the Mr. weird Bat Eater. <laughs> the weird thing about Ozzy is um, he, he lived a rock and roll lifestyle. He did, they, is, he did a lot of um, substances to the point where his blood was mutated. Like, he's a genetic freak. It's, doctors call him that. Ozzy Osbourne made a new album. He's planning on making more, by the way. And Marshmallow and Ozzy Osbourne. Never thought it was going to happen. Was that Post Malone? I thought it was Marshmallow. I thought it was Post Malone. He's been doing a lot of, like, modern artists, and it's been really funny to see the weird mashups that happen. I would love to see that, like, meeting. Like, Ozzy is, like, this really old, like, dark-looking dude, and then here's just this modern pop guy walking in, and he's just like, oh, Hi. He's like, all right, sit down. And then Ozzy Osbourne replies, "He can't talk. I feel yeah. bad. For, I feel I feel bad for that man." Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. Ozzy and he also has a yeah, cool he had a TV accent. show for like a small. Yes, he did. And his wife's name is Sharon. Oh, dude, I love that show. I'd watch that show, and it, it's always. Have funny you seen though. the? 
I for the think. audience out here, there's this episode where Ozzy Osbourne tries to figure out the TV remote, and he gets really angry. <laughs> <laughs> so what me, uh, music huh. does your parents listen to? Uh, country. Country? country. I'm country. They, they, all sound like the, they all sound like the same person, Blake Shelton. They sound just like him, every single one of them, and you can't change my mind. The only one that doesn't sound the same is, like, Johnny Johnny Cash. Johnny, yeah. He, and he's he, like, hello, my name's Johnny Cash. He still kind of sounds like the, the normal country singer. Poor Johnny Cash. He's dead. <laughs> oh, no! Man. He tried to go the same slide that uh, Eddie Mercury went down, but he got stuck to That's where they all go. They don't yeah. die. Like, uh, like Elvis didn't fall down the toilet and get stuck and die. He just fell down a slide as well. Wait, is that Did actually how he died? Did you about Johnny Cash by his wife? Really? Like, listening to his wife. Yeah, well, I listened to uh, Nine Inch Nails, and then I heard that Johnny Cash did a cover of a song once, and I was like, I, and I know how to play that song on guitar. It's, uh, hurt. My stepdad loves Nine Inch Nails. What are you doing? Nine Inch Nails is fun. It's industrial music, which okay. means they probably, like, record trash cans, and then they <laughs> sample it. Very long time, really. Uh, his new All stuff. Right. All right, like get the sound. All right, get the sound file. Just pull it like a, like a. Get this trash can. I perfect. Snare. That's a snare. I love uh, industrial I'm a drum. music. Uh, I'm a drum out, and then she starts like shaking vigorously. Just... Do you, oh, I just want you to Someone's listen. Someone's gonna get to the point. I want you to hear this see. question. Some of these I didn't write, <clears throat> so. Where was it? Where was it? It was really good. Oh no, I think I know which one you're talking about. Do you, something to do with romantic music? Oh, okay. I thought I thought you. Were do you prefer okay. rock music or romantic? What is romantic music? What is romantic to? music? No. It's, oh, you already did a joke. I'm gonna have to listen back. Like this. I'm gonna. <laughs> that hate was it. that was like thirty. That was thirty seconds of us just. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, Careless that was actually really nice. Actually, on just dance 2014. Careless Ris- Whisper is actually really good. It is it's really underrated. Good song. Never know who that is, but okay. That's Enough the song. Got this skin, got the wet. Yeah. That's the song. <laughs> English no room. I made a cover of Imagine from John oh, Lennon. Oh, no. I can actually pull that up. Someone's going to pull Dragons. it up. Imagine Dragons. Uh, Someone. Wow. Imagine Dragons. My but producer. It's Minecraft. Oh, here oh, it is. Here Hold it is. up. Close to the mic. <laughs> here it comes. Look at the mic spike. There's like three people doing this at once. <laughs> no, 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 I need to hear it. Water. Why do you sound like you've been smoking for five years? It's because it's copyrighted. No, it's a MIDI we made. Like the background track is something me and my friend made. If someone were to copyright this, that would mean that they technically were responsible for the creation of this, so I don't think it would be a good copyright. Okay. I can't even tell what you're Bring saying. I can't even tell what you're saying. Okay, That's what, what you do word. is you like clench your like chest and you oh, sing okay. chest. Chest. Do you sing that. Your chest. Do you think Mrs. Clayton and I will listen to this podcast? I hope. I, really I hope good. she. I hope she gets. That and personally invites you to the. Choir. Do not take me to choir, I please. I hope she. I hope she gets to the part where, <laughs> where we're all singing the song. You are invited. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty gorgeous, not gonna lie. Nathan's coming back. <laughs> no, not really. He's no. going back to choir boys. I might be in high school, I'm not gonna lie, I might. Do choir people Wait. wear robes? Yeah, we do. <gasps> okay, oh, I wanna join now. Yeah. Concert choir. Well, are, are, you gonna become, are you gonna become like the Sith Lord? <laughs> Star become, Wars' the soundtrack become, is good. Are you Change my mind. <laughs> For the audience out here, 
I want your opinion. Is the Star Wars soundtrack good? And if so, from which Star Wars is your favorite soundtrack from? Uh, um, all of the prequels. I'm much more of just the original. Yeah. I mean, not prequels. Why did I say prequels? The original trilogy. Yeah, the original trilogy. Yeah. No, the newer ones are trash. I'm not going to lie. What do you think of uh, violence in music, like the culture and violence? Uh, it depends on the situation. If it's Doom, then that's awesome, because Doom has really good music. But Doom is about violently killing... Doom is about, like, mercilessly killing everything in sight. We're talking a lot about death today, aren't we? I mean, This yeah. is what music brings us together to be, you know? Unites this is why us. death metal is a thing. Death metal is a thing. You said death rock to me at one point. Yeah, I did say death rock. I did that. Like, I, before we recorded it, I was, it, I was like, really sad about it. Yeah, he was like, he, he actually tried to stop, and you were like, wait a minute, is that a thing? Yeah, I needed to stop, like, full <laughs> halt everything. Because like, wait a minute, what? So, hold uh, on, my producer. I need to hear this. I, is, death rock, <laughs> is death rock a thing? <laughs> In the jungle, the midnight jungle. Why? And this is probably copyrighted. A weem yeah. away, a weem away, a weem away, a weem away. The light is jungle, the light sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the light sleeps tonight. A weem away, a weem away. Oh, God. <laughs> and just a reminder, for everyone listening to the podcast, the of every times. guest, it will, it'll be different with how weird the subjects get. They're going to ask me to come back and sing. They're going to tell us to come oh, back and you sing. Need to, you need to make a, co- a comment section, and they'll be like, bring them back. Who knows? Maybe you know, every te- maybe boy. every 10th episode, sing. it'll just be karaoke. Yeah, every 10th episode. I'm not sure. Maybe back. I can settle something for that. Every, ten, every 10th episode, I'll come back. And be like, I'm 99% sure we're not going to get the 10th episode. Yeah, maybe probably. Five. I mean, I'm maybe creative. five. Well, I won't maybe be here fifth. until then. I mean, we could Maybe be. the fifth episode. Yeah. That, <laughs> yes, that a lot of weird things we've done today on oh. this episode. I loved my guest today. It was really fun talking about all this stuff for a long time. Yeah, right. I hope the listeners here listen to some Queen on After This She's podcast. Queen. So, my podcast guest here is Nathan Gillen. My producer is Zoe Johnson. My name is Wesley, and keep it real, everyone.